All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. <coughs> it is now late Monday afternoon, March 1st. March 1st, uh, 2021 here. Uh, as March is blowing in like a cuddly little kitten. It is 82 degrees right now. It was 95 to close out February yesterday. So anyway, uh, this is actually the second chronicle of the collapse uh, that I'm doing today because here on this channel, I won't talk about any other channels, but history has been made on Collapse Chronicles today that uh, I had a video uh, yanked down. My, uh, my chronicle of the collapse this morning was uh, yanked down on a copyright violation. You know, since I don't have a monetized channel, they usually leave the videos up and, you know, someone makes a claim on it. Uh, but no, they thought this was worth yanking this video down. So, uh, what it was, was I was doing, I did a video on this excellent website that I use a lot called topdocumentaryfilms.com. If you're not aware of uh, TDF, topdocumentaryfilms.com, I highly suggest you uh, go over there. So what I did is I went over to topdocumentaryfilms.com and just to give you a sample of some of the documentaries, you know, they've got hundreds of Doomer porn documentaries. I chose five of them. <laughs> Uh, I chose five of the documentaries. I know I closed out with that Vice News uh, Apocalypse Man uh, about Michael Rupert. Uh, that was one of them and four others. But anyway, who it was who uh, got me on the copyright strike was Paul Kingsnorth, or at least the guy who owns the rights. I don't know if it was Paul directly. Uh, excellent documentary. I've seen it. Uh, it's a couple of years old on uh, Paul Kingsnorth, Portrait of a Recovering Environmentalist. So I think you can find that on YouTube or go over there to topdocumentaryfilms.com because the opening 10 minutes of that of that uh, video are one of the great 10 minutes of uh, of doom and gloom and uh, where Paul Kingsnorth explains why he is no longer an environmentalist which is uh, he articulates what I've been trying to tell people anytime anybody accuses Sam Mitchell of being an environmentalist that the very term environmentalist has been so co-opted by what I will call the Bill McKibben crowd for it's just it, it's embarrassing to even call yourself an environmentalist and uh, but anyway, so it was Paul Kingsnorth or whoever that got a video pulled down off of Collapse Chronicles for the first time in history. Uh, and of course, all I was trying to do was advertise this documentary to get uh, people who are not familiar with Paul Kingsnorth and uh, in top documentary films, and this is the thanks I got from it. But anyway, so uh, the ironic point of all this is that wasn't even the chronicle of the collapse I was going to do. What I was going to do and change my mind at the last minute was this article in the mainstream media about the rising... Uh, 
the the rising tide I guess of inter not just internet censorship which good lord we can get on a whole nother rant about that the explosion of uh, you know YouTube and probably the rest of the gangs uh, pulling down videos yanking down whole channels I uh, you might be aware that another channel <coughs> here in the Doomosphere is on a one-week probation uh, after being on the air for 12 years uh, for the first time in history four days ago yanked off the air for a week long and now Collapse Chronicles getting uh, getting videos ripped down so that, that I'm not talking that whole side of the uh, uh, of the uh, of this debate about the collapse of global industrial civilization. What this article was talking about is the rising incidents of governments of national governments not just pulling down different websites but just completely yanking down the internet to usually quell dissent. I'm pretty sure they were talking about Myanmar. Never know how you pronounce that. I guess there's an internet lockdown going on that what was the number talking about in, in that more there have been more instances of uh, of governments, including, quote, democracies, uh, you know, just completely yanking down, just a blanket pull down of the entire internet, you know, that this has happened more times in the past year than pretty much all of history, the internet history before that. And this is clearly a trend. I, I mean, this is absolute, a no-brainer trend uh, you know when when governments particularly demo, democratically elected governments uh, who don't like uh, people questioning the mainstream narrative the propaganda that's being pushed by that uh, you know by that government that I guess if enough people are questioning it you know they just yank down the entire internet and uh, so now you know I, I have said for how many years have I been saying when people ask me Sam you know how will we know when it's all over and and my answer not entirely joking I have my answer to the question is how will you know when uh, we are heading into Mad Max is when you turn on your computer and you go on the internet and you have no internet and you understand once you figure out that it's not your computer or the or, or, you know or the office downtown or something like that but once you confirm that there is no internet Nobody you know uh, has, you know, has internet, assuming you can still make a phone call, that once you determine that the internet has been yanked down, you have 72 hours to get wherever you want to be on the planet with whoever you want to be with on the planet. Uh, from here till doomsday, that that is going to be the trigger that Mad Max has uh, has begun, and I can't remember who it was, brother. If you're listening, there's somebody who I was. I I think they were just down here visiting, or our somebody in the past few months. One of the uh, you know the people on this channel who knows a lot more about this subject than I will. Just, uh, you know, laughing off the idea 
uh, talking, you, you know, saying with, uh, and a fellow Doomer, I'm sorry, brother, I can't remember who you are, I would give you credit, was debating me on this, saying, Sam, there is no way that the the nefarious they are going to pull down the internet that there's just too many backup protections that the internet cannot be pulled down well i think maybe he was maybe we were talking about or he was misunderstanding me probably talking more about cyber criminals you know uh, cyber attacks on the internet, yanking down the internet, that the internet is too big to fail. That uh, the internet is the very, very last thing that is going to come down. Not the first, the very last thing that is going to get yanked down uh, is going to be the internet. And, you know, from that end of the conversation that might be right but uh you know right here in the mainstream media i'll try to find the article and put the link on here you can read it yourself anyone trying to tell me that uh that national governments at least cannot pull down the internet uh what would Ann Lander say? Wake up and smell the coffee. Uh, any time, any time uh, they want to yank down the internet and the U.S., uh, Europe, wherever, uh, any time that uh, the, the, the nefarious they want to... Uh, yank the internet down it, it can be done at the pull of a switch I, I i don't give a damn what anybody who quote knows more about the subject uh, than me if they can do it in myanmar i assure you they can do it here and then of course the bigger question is you know what if the united nations gets tired of people uh, talking trash about the UN, you know, calling into question the Green New Deal and the sustainable, sustainable development goals and uh, all of this crap, uh, the Paris Climate Agreement, uh, all of this crap, this greenwashing crap that, that they're using to try to delude the clueless morons that uh, that there that the United Nations is, is going to save this planet. Well, we, you know, I mean, they can yank down my videos or whatever. But at what point does the United Nations, you know, this 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 gets in conspiratorial, conspiracy wacko, wacko territory, but. They certainly have the technology to uh, yank it down, but of course, uh, the, the, the main reason, well, the two reasons, is they realize that would be what would trigger, if, if anything is going to trigger a revolution on this planet, it would be yanking down the internet. That's number one, but of course, they need the internet to, uh, to transmit their own uh, BS uh, propaganda uh, that the, nef the nefarious they, the powers that be, the, these lying uh, sacks of horse manure, uh, get more mileage out of the internet than, uh, than people going up against them do. And this is the main reason is, is because all of the crap on the internet supporting, you know, the ultimate big lie that we can have infinite growth on a finite planet. It all gets down, it, it all boils down. The single biggest lie behind it all is that we can have infinite growth on a finite planet. And as long as they can use the internet to uh, 
spread the propaganda of the single biggest lie in human history, that is the only thing that's going to keep it up. But uh, as more and more people wake up and smell the coffee, uh, you know, it, it, is, it, it is their single most potent weapon to, uh, to literally keep us in the dark. And, you know, once you figure out that that sucker's down and it ain't coming back, you know, they can yank down uh, channels here in the Doomosphere. They can uh, block my videos, whatever. Uh, and there will be more of that, obviously that they're going to be using their powers to silence dissent. Uh, that more and more, uh, whether it be the, the media corporations themselves uh, or the governments in the pockets of, in, in, in cahoots with the media corps, whoever, uh, uh, he'd be, th th this, this is just, a, I mean, I, I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm even having this uh, chronicle of the collapse, but I have gotten where I want to be. What I'm doing is, uh, I'm here in, uh, these are irises, blue flag irises, and uh, so all of this mess going right through this uh, bed of uh, blue flag, flag irises. This was made by the park ranger who uh, a couple of weeks ago brought his uh, gas-sucking monster truck through here. It was running right through the middle of a, uh, a wildflower garden. Uh, so I don't feel too guilty about uh, moving these blue flag irises out of the way of the monster trucks and starting a new patch at the end of the road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. So I'm going to uh, attend to that, say enjoy your internet while you still can because once it's gone, we are doomed. Bye guys.